Okay, I know that, that that is a little bit of aggressive seven days or less, but I assure you that if you plan ahead and you plan properly and you learn some of the techniques that I show you on how to remodel your bathroom, you will be able to accomplish this in a short period of time. So I'm gonna, I have outlines that basically outline each day and what you have to accomplish. And it really does come down to planning ahead and preparing yourself. Uh, one of the biggest problems that I see people having is that they keep running out of the materials that they need to build this bathroom. Now, I don't know exactly everything that I'm gonna be getting into when I redemo this bathroom. It could potentially, you know, there's gonna be some things with plumbing that I'm not sure I know um, what I need to adapt to. So, I mean, some of the planning ahead is difficult to know until you actually gut the bathroom, but the core stuff, the core things that you need to have prepared before you start the bathroom, um, I'm gonna step you through and be able to help you uh, learn how to go about doing this. Okay, so day one, it's all about demo. So hopefully you prepared your home for that. I always like to use plastic guard over the carpet, uh, covering furniture, uh, basically making things easy for you to carry the materials from one place to another. So preparing for that maybe the night before is a good idea, but day one is just going to be gutting everything down to the studs. I have a list below of some items that I think is really important for you to have on hand. Um, and one of them is definitely a shark bite cap so that you can have the water turned on to the rest of your home. Uh, but we'll get into it. Next couple of videos are going to go step by step on how we go about demoing this. Okay, so we're on day two. So make sure you follow my guide. Uh, this is really helpful to keep things straight in your mind as far as what you need to get done. But day two, main priority is getting your plumbing, getting your tub in, getting your faucet in. That is your main priority because everything revolves around that as far as installing the rest of the drywall and everything else. So your main priority is the tub and then your shower faucet, and then we can move on to drywall. So <clears throat> we'll get to it here. Okay, so day three. I hope day two wasn't too overwhelming for you. I know getting into the plumbing, sometimes you just don't know what to expect and you're a little bit nervous about whether it leaks or not. So hopefully you overcame day two. Day three, the focus point here now is to hang the rest of this drywall, get that first coat of mud on there because it takes time for this stuff to dry. So you need to do the dry, get the drywall up, get a first coat on it. And then the second part of the day is to get the waterproofing on the tub surround and then also putting the Dietra mat on the floor as well. So it's another big day, but I promise you it'll get a little bit easier as we get all these components together and you'll feel like you really are starting to get back to a normal bathroom. Okay, so we're on day four. Uh, we're gonna get into the tiling here today. So my main objective today is to get the back wall of the shower done, possibly a side wall as well and in the, the actual floor of the bathroom. So got a lot of work today, but uh, it is gonna be a little bit more fun getting into the tile work and getting feeling like you're accomplishing something with the decorative tile. Okay, so day five, hopefully you strengthen those tiling muscles and you got used to using the thin set and adhering all that tile. So you should be able to pick up right where you left off yesterday and finish the rest of the tile. And then another important key point is to do the third coat of mud so that things can dry properly for day six. Okay, so day six, this day is gonna be primarily a lot of cleaning, painting, and grouting your tub surround. So we're gonna be getting things ready to pretty much get it to the finish line here. And everything is about timing when it comes to grouting. So I'm gonna give you a lot of great tips with that and so that you can have an easy time with that. So we'll get started today and then hopefully tomorrow we can just wrap things up. All right, so day seven, this is the final day. We should be able to wrap things up, but hey, don't feel bad if you didn't get it done in that amount of time. I'm sure there might have been some other unexpected things or if you were missing items that it took you a little bit longer. This is really just a guidance on how to go about doing it. So the order of operation is all the same, but my hope is that you were able to do it in seven days. That would really make me happy to be able to see you get that accomplished. But today we're just gonna be focusing on putting in the toilet and all those accessories.
So that was a really quick recap of what it would take to remodel a bathroom in seven days. So I really implore you to check out my course. I think this is going to be really helpful for you to be able to keep yourself organized. And I go through the entire process step by step from, in, from the demo process, installing the tub, tub and shower faucet, waterproofing. I go into a lot of detail on that. That's a very important step. Uh, hanging drywall. So if you're doing this yourself, everything that I'm teaching is primarily what I do by myself on most of my jobs. So hanging the drywall, finishing it, towel setting, which should be the fun part of the project. I give you a lot of great tips to be able to make that a fun project. I go over grouting and one of my favorite grouts is epoxy grouting. And then as you can see, the way that the site is set up, it basically has everything organized day by day but the curriculum step by step of going from day one to day seven now obviously you don't have to get everything done in seven days uh this is just basically a good guidance to go through it but what's really awesome is that each one of these tutorials has a video to it and then also a well-written description below that gives you a lot of the highlights so that you're not wasting your time and you can just get to work so i have a lot of great links also in this as well and then at the bottom, if you have any questions about your own project, you can always leave me a comment. So check out my course, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.